I'm going to show you how to create a cool nameplate that you could use for a filing cabinet. Although I'll be using this for Blender Challenge 21 in my mortuary cabinets. I'll provide the reference image for you to download. And here we go. So here in Blender, looking in front view, you're going to go image reference. Find your image and bring it in. S2 to scale it up twice and press G and move it so that your 3D cursor is pretty much in the middle of about there. Shift A, mesh circle. I'm going to use 24 vertices for this. Scale it down. Rotate X90. And then just position it so that you like the, the position okay let's delete these vertices here so we leave the two vertical ones here i'm going to press sx pull them out just a little bit e to extrude pull them up a little bit s x e s x start doing that we can hide the empty periodically and have a look at this. Okay, if we want to make this a little bit nicer, we can subdivide. Take this point and just press G to, to grab, move it. I can do the same on this side. All right, so just a little bit smoother. Okay, so far so good. Don't worry if you're a little bit off the diagram. Okay, let's take that. Shift D, rotate Y minus 90. G, drag it over here and position it. Okay, come over here to the snap and switch to vertex. With this one point selected, move down in the Z direction and press Control and then hover your mouse over this point. With that one selected and then this one selected, press F to make a face. So we've got this. Okay, let's come in here and delete all these points, leaving the center one and the 3D cursor there. Over to the mirror. Mirror it over here. Turn on clipping. Let's turn that back on. Let's select this point. Drag it up. Press E to extrude into the center. It should stop right there. We now have this. Okay. Let's apply that. Let's come back in now. And we can delete a few extra points if we really want to. We don't need these points. X dissolve vertices. Now let's select these. You can either turn on the diagram or not. We're going to bevel those four corner points. I'm just going to look up here. Shift Control B, pull, and I'm going to give five like that. All right, press F to make face, E to extrude, come out, give it some thickness, make it nice and, and thick. All right, we have that. Now we're close to the diagram. You can go into wireframe if you want. I'm going to create this cutaway. Shift A, mesh cube. I'm going to bring it up until it lines up with the bottom here. I'm going to edit mode, SX. Pull it out like this. I'll come out. Scale that in Y a bit. I'm going to hide this. What we want to do is we want to position this in a ways so that we have a nice cutaway in there and we have room to put in another piece and okay we're making this cutaway as you can see there we want to round this bottom corner though so when edge selection number two select this one and this one and again you could either look at the diagram or you could just do this by eye 
control B, pull. And again, I've got, I guess I've got four segments. Let me bump that up to five segments. One thing you should do is make sure your polys are all facing the right way. Okay, select your main body here. Let's hide the empty again. Choose Boolean, Difference, the eyedropper, select that, Apply. We can delete that now. You can add a bevel. Make this 0 0.02 maybe. You can shade smooth and you can add weighted normal and under normal so auto smooth. We're going to add this piece right here. Shift A mesh plane. Rotate X90. Pull this up and forward. Look from the front. Press X. Get it to go under. I'm going to select this top edge and bring it up. Somewhere around there. I'm going to pull it forward. I'm going to give this a bit of thickness. Come back like this. I think I don't want it quite sticking out, so just put it under a little bit. Okay. Now we can add bevel to this. I'll give it three segments. Shade smooth. That's good for the moment. If you want, you can go in and delete faces that aren't going to show. I'm not going to worry about that right now. We'll go back in wireframe. So we got that piece. Now we're going to do this cutaway. So shift A, mesh plane again. Rotate X90. Scale that in the Z until you get the approximate shape you want. You can grab that bottom edge here. Pull it up to there. Scale it in the X. And come out to about there. Press 1 for vertex selection. So I've got those four. Zoom in and shift control B to bevel. Pull. And get that curve. That's fine like that. Okay, go into edit mode, give this some thickness, make it thicker than the middle piece here to cut right through it. If you want, you can focus on that piece and that piece and slash to hide everything else. Again, make sure the polys are facing the right way. These are not, so we're going to select everything. Alt N, we calculate outside because I didn't get that one. We need that like that. Okay, select this, and we're going to cut with this Boolean, drag it to the top under difference, put the eyedropper, select that, and apply, take that and delete it. We've got this, now we can add weighted normal to this, and auto smooth. Let's bring everything else back. Now, shift A, mesh, plane, add a piece of paper. Rotate X90. We want this paper in between there so that you can see it through there. SX. Scale it like that. Maybe take these points. Bring them down. We'll do something with that in a, mo in a moment. Shift A. Mesh. Circle. Let's go for 18. Scale it down, rotate X90, I'll pull it forward, scale it, I'm not even looking at the diagram really, and we're off a little bit anyhow, so I'll put it there. Okay, with that selected, go to grid fill. E to extrude, pull it back, X faces to delete those faces.
we can add a bevel. 0 0.02. We can shade smooth. And then face selection, looking from the front, I'm going to select all these front faces. Just like that. I'm going to press I to inset and pull them in a little bit. And loop tool circle. Pull them in a bit more. E to extrude, pull them back. You could scale it in a bit if you want. We'll try it. Try that. Okay, we got bevel on. Let's go weighted normal. And auto smooth. G and drag it over here. 3D cursor is there. Let's set the origin to the 3D cursor. And mirror. I'm going to turn off the bevel. That looks fine just as it is. Okay, let's put on the cavity shader. Let's turn on shadow. Switch over to mat cap, choose object, choose a nice shiny mat cap. Looks like these are flipped. Alt in, recalculate outside. Let's do this one too. And now let's come to here. Choose this. Under viewport display, color, make it a slightly bluish color if you like that. Go to hex, select and control C to copy it. Come over here under hex, control V to paste it. For this one, I'm going to make this a slightly yellowish color for the paper. Brown, yellow, whatever. And do something like that. Let's, by the way, come over here and put that same metal kind of color on there. Same with this one. Shift A, text, scale it down, rotate X90, bring it up, change that to a black kind of color. We'll just make sure that it's out in front. Choose a font that you like. I'm going to use this agency FB bold. I'll put name, date, and choose any date you want. Okay. COD for cause of death. I'll put poison asphyxiation. I'm going to convert this to a mesh. And under the modifiers, I'm going to choose shrink wrap. And I'll choose this. And I'll put the offset as 0 0.002, let's say. There we go. Select everything, press M, new collection, NP for nameplate one. Shift D to duplicate it. Pull it over, M for new collection, NP two. Rotate Z. Shift D, G, M, new collection, NP three. Just move it different position, so. Thank you. 
and then you can experiment with uh, different map caps. I can try that one. And there's your nameplate. Cool, and that's it.